Hey guys, Ricardo with Fast Tech Performance, and today I'm here to show you how to install the Mishimoto cold air intake for the sixth generation Camaro SS. Now, as part of the kit, what you're going to get is you're going to get their high flow air filter, their massive five inch uh, mass airflow housing tube, their silicone intake, and their aluminum box. Now, here's all the hardware and everything that you'll need for, to get the installation done a couple of clamps, a couple of brackets, a little bit of bolts, and here are the tools that we'll need. Simple screwdriver, T20 Torx bit, 4 millimeter Allen wrench, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and a pair of pliers. Alright guys, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get the factory air box out of the way. Now to get that factory air box out of the way, we've got to take off, loosen that clamp right there so we can slide this elbow out. And we're going to loosen this clamp here so we can slide this intake tube out of here. So we'll go ahead and start by taking off there. Go ahead and slide that right off. We'll take our flat blade screwdriver. We'll loosen up the clamp. Once you got the clamp loose, you can go ahead and check and see if make sure it's loose here. Now you also have this here. Now what you're gonna do is you go on the back side here, you can squeeze that, squeeze that tab, and it pops right out. Now we got the factory mass airflow sensor. On the bottom side here, there's a little red tab. You hear that click? And you squeeze and you pull that back. This right there is the clip. So you're gonna squeeze right there and it'll loosen it and then you can pull it off. Then we'll have the sound tube right here. That clamp right there pops right out. You can move that out of the way. So then once we have everything loose, what we can do is take the factory box as a unit and just pop it out of the grommets here. It's got three grommets holding it in place. So once we got those three grommets out, we'll go and pull the box out as assembly. All right, guys, now that we got the factory shield in place, we're going to go and pull the sensor off. Now you're going to use the T20 Torx to go and get those factory bolts out. All right, guys, now before we go ahead and install this Mishimoto cold air intake, on this box, you do have to install a couple of little brackets. We already kind of did a little pre-assembly, but as you can see here, you got the washers and you got the bolts. Did a little bit of pre-assembly, but we'll go ahead and get going on it. Now this bracket here is going to go on the inside, and our bolt's going to go on the outside here. We'll go ahead and snug that down just by hand for right now, and we'll tighten it up in a little bit. Now this other bracket, as you can see, it's got the smaller tab on it. That smaller tab is going to go on this location right here. So what we'll do, as you can see, it fits right in place. So we'll get that put on. All right, and this bracket with the larger tab is going to go right here in this location. So we'll go ahead and put that in place. Now we'll go ahead and tighten these brackets down, and this one we're going to leave loose. So once we, once we get the box in the location, we'll go ahead and tighten this down. Then we'll take these spacers here, and we'll go ahead and put them in place. We'll go ahead and leave these hand tight as well until we get them in the final location, and then we'll tighten them down. All right, guys, now we're ready to put the box on the car. All right, guys, now we got with the bracket, we're going to go ahead and slip it in place. These three tabs are going to line up with the factory grommets. So we'll go ahead and slip in there. We'll line that one up. We'll line this one up. And we'll line this one up. That's why you want to leave this one loose a little bit, so, just so you can make some minor adjustments. Once you have everything lined up, we'll go ahead and push everything in place. And that'll be the box installed. And we'll go ahead and tighten down these bolts so that way nothing moves. Yeah. 
All right, guys, now I'm going to install the factory mass airflow sensor into the Mishimoto housing. Using supply bolts, we'll go ahead and bolt it down. All right, guys, now that we've got the mass airflow sensor housing assembly together, we're going to go ahead and take the silicone tube along with the clamp supplied. We're going to put the clamp in place. Then we're going to take the sensor housing and slide that in. Now you're going to want to put the sensor housing all the way to the end here, so that way when we get it on the car, it makes it a lot easier to adjust. All right, guys, now that we got the tube assembly, we're going to go ahead and install it on the car. Now, as you can see, this is still loose here. But we're going to go ahead and tighten that in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this in place here, and then we'll get this elbow put on the throttle body. We'll tighten that, that clamp in a little bit. We'll go ahead and get this adjusted here. You want to get this all the way this lip right here, you want to get that all the way against the box as far as you can. And we're going to twist the sensor housing so the sensor itself is pointing back and it's easy to clip in place. So now that we have those in place, we'll go ahead and tighten, tighten down these clamps and we'll get everything connected. Alright guys, now that we got everything where we want it, what we're going to do is we're going to go and tighten down these clamps here. So we've got that one where we want it, take our flat blade screwdriver. And we'll tighten it down, make sure that doesn't move. We'll go ahead and go over here to the sensor housing. We'll tighten down that clamp as well. Make sure that doesn't move. And then we'll install the filter here. So we'll take the filter and the clamp they provide. We'll put it in place. And we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now that we got those tightened, we'll go into our sensor here. And make sure that's this push back. Go ahead and plug it in and then push that lock. We'll take this one here and just clip it right in place. Now for this one, they supply you the clamp and the little elbow. We'll go ahead and put those on and get everything tightened up. We'll take our pliers, squeeze that clamp, and we'll slip that right in place. Alright guys, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this heat shield cover on. And all that you're going to do is you're going to line up those holes with these holes right here. So we'll get those lined up. And with the supplied hardware, we'll get it bolted down. And we'll take our four millimeter Allen wrench and we'll go ahead and tighten them down. All right, now that we got those tightened down, we'll go ahead and fire it up. 